Hi, let's talk about dividing fractions. Here's an example. You want to take 2 thirds and you want to divide it by 4 sevenths. Now this isn't too hard either, but uh, the thing to remember is what we need to do is convert this to a multiplication problem. The way that you do this is you take the second fraction, the fraction that you're dividing by, and what you want to do is you want to flip it over. So instead of 4 sevenths, you want to flip the thing over and call it 7 fourths. And then instead, instead of dividing, you want to multiply the two fractions. So we've changed this problem from 2 thirds divided by 4 sevenths to 2 thirds times 7 fourths. Every time you're dividing fractions, this is what you're going to do. And then what you can do is you can just multiply like you normally would. You multiply straight across the numerator. 2 times 7 is 14. Multiply straight across the denominator. 3 times 4 is 12. And then, of course, you have to reduce. Anytime you get a fraction that isn't in lowest terms, you want to reduce it. So, uh, in this case, 14 and 12 can both be divided evenly by 2. So you do that to both the numerator and the denominator. 14 divided by 2 equals 7. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. And your answer is 7 6. So 2 thirds divided by 4 sevenths equals 7 6. Now, before we go on and do another example, uh, I want to point out that this can be written a different way. Um, 2 thirds divided by 4 sevenths can be written like this as two fractions uh, with a big uh, fraction in between, I guess you could say. Um, if you were given to it in this form, uh, it's really the same problem. What you do is you take the uh, fraction that's in the numerator of your big fraction, and you write that down. And then you take the fraction that's in the denominator down here, and you flip it over, and you multiply. So if we flip over 4 sevenths, again, we get 7 fourths, and you multiply. Just like we did before, we get 7 sixths. So let's try another example. Um, let's try 8 thirds divided by 2 fifths. Uh, hit pause on your, uh, on your video and give it a shot. So what we're going to do to do this division of fractions is the same thing we did last time. You're going to copy down the first fraction. You're going, to do, you're going to flip over the second fraction and multiply. So you flip over two-fifths. The other word for flip over, of course, is take the reciprocal of. So we're going to take the reciprocal of two-fifths. That's five-halves. And we're going to multiply it by our eight-thirds. And we just multiply it like we normally would. Eight times five is 40. Three times two, six. Then we have to reduce, of course. Uh, let's see, what's the quickest right way to reduce this? It looks like uh, divide by 2 again. We're dividing by 2 a lot in this reduction of fractions. Uh, so 40 divided by 2 is going to give you 20. 6 divided by 2 is going to give you 3. That is actually in lowest terms. It can't be reduced any further. So that's going to be your answer. Um, let's go through the steps one more time. We had 8 thirds divided by 2 fifths. What we did is we flipped over, or we took the reciprocal of 2 fifths and multiplied. So we have 8 thirds times 5 halves. We multiplied straight across. We got 40 over 6. And then we had to reduce. Two, uh, we divided the numerator and the denominator by 2, and we got 20 thirds. Now, one more note to make um, this is an improper fraction. So, um, on the AccuPlacer test, I've, I've heard that a lot of the times they want improper fractions converted to mixed numbers. And we did this in the previous video, I think uh, the second video on the website. Um, but just as a note, um, 20 thirds, you may want to change it to a mixed number. So let's just do it real fast. A little bit of review. You take the 20, you divide it by 3. Uh, what, good, what times 3? Is in the 20, so 6 times 3 is 18. You subtract 18 from 20, and you get a remainder of 2. 
And what you do is you take that number there, that becomes your whole number. That remainder right there becomes the numerator of your fraction. And then you keep the same denominator you had before. So you have 6 and 2 thirds. So it's possible on an AccuPlacer test that instead of an answer of 20 thirds, you might want an answer of 6 and 2 thirds. So this is probably the one that you want. All right, so that's dividing fractions. Uh, in the next video, we're going to add and subtract fractions.